a six foot or seven foot squid comes up to the surface, they're dangerous to a human being and they'll take your life. So you dare not pull them into the boat because they can pull you in the water. If you fall in the water with really big squid, they will prey on you on the spot. Scott has devised a simple method for attracting the Humboldt squid. He dresses up like a large lump of squid food. Being your own fish bait has obvious downsides, and this is why he has developed a special suit of armor to protect himself from becoming a fish supper. This has seen a lot of wear and tear, but you also notice that there's some scratches right here. These scratches are not from equipment. Those scratches are actually from ring teeth of squid. When I hit the water, I have this primeval terror envelops me, and I start to wonder, is this gonna be the day where I get attacked by a big, big squid? And Scott's fear is well justified. When you see a Humboldt squid, right behind him is the rest of his pack. They wait for one guy to come in and check your vulnerability. And if that squid succeeds, everybody comes in on you. The very first dive I did with the Humboldt squid, nobody told me what to expect. I went in there thinking I was prepared. So I jumped in the water with this squid that I was focusing on. So I didn't see the guy in back of me. He grabs onto my camera and pulls my arm back so badly that it pulled my shoulder out of the socket. As soon as you get underneath those eight arms and those two feeding tentacles, they're lined with chitinous ring teeth. That's up to 36,000 teeth. And once they have a good hold, then they employ that magnificent beak, which can take an orange-sized chunk of flesh every two and a half seconds. It's like trying to film inside of a barroom brawl. They are real life monsters. They are what people would probably have flying out of them in a nightmare. They are the real thing. Scott hopes one day to film a recently discovered new species of squid, larger even than the giant squid. This has been christened the colossal squid. We have this 75 to 80 foot long giant squid called the colossal squid that has the same feeding pattern as a Humboldt squid. Imagine the ferocity of the attack of this giant. They usually see them preying on very large species of cod, which is as big as you and I, and they eat these things like popcorn. Whether Scott's cunning ruse of dressing up as squid food will prove a success remains to be seen.